Call me Davenport, Captain, United States Army, attached to the 343rd Military Police Corps in Fort Neal, Louisiana. I'm a lawyer where the segregated armed services couldn't find a place for. My job in this war, policing colored troops. Good morning. Welcome to NAACP Radio. During mid-April 1944, a colored tech sergeant, Vernon C. Waters, assigned to the 221st Chemical Smoke Generating Company, stationed here before transfer to Europe, was brutally shot to death in a wooded section off the new post road and the junction of Highway 51. I just happened to know that he was shot 200 yards away from the door of a local bar by person or persons unknown. Naturally, the unofficial consensus on the local Ku Klux Klan. Colonel Barton Niven ordered the military police to initiate a thorough search of all personal property for unauthorized knives, guns, weapons of any kind. You see, 90% of Colonel's commands in almost all the enlisted station, men stationed here are Negroes. And Colonel felt, and I suppose justly, that, work, that once rumor of Sergeant's death spread among his troops, there's going to be some retaliation against some white folks from a town nearby. The NAACP would like to state clearly, and for the record, there was no retaliation and no racial incidents. And as soon as week after the killing took place, the investigation stalled completely. On the advice of the NAACP, Thurgood Marshall ordered an immediate investigation of the killing. Yes, Mr. Marshall ordered, and five minutes later, the case was mine. It was four to five weeks after his death, the month of May. I found myself being ushered around Fort Neal by a young private instructed to help me interview the rest of the men to see Sergeant Waters alive that night. We heard it was Easter. You know how the grapevine is. Sad thing that happened to Sarge. What's on the grapevine about the killing? Pretty good plan. Ain't crazy about his tan yanks in this part of town. Well, was there anything on the grapevine about trouble in this town before Sergeant Waters was killed? Before, there was nothing. After, a couple of guys from the tank corps wanted to drive up Sherman's right through town. Then, I guess someone said the two of our guys did it. That's why the colonel found our barracks. Was that rumor confirmed? I didn't hear anything. Did anything ever come of it? None that I know of. Thanks, Private. Uh, I better start seeing the men. Are they ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Captain told everybody in Sarge's platoon to be ready for the questioning. They knew you'd be starting this morning. But you knew the men. Sergeant Waters, what was he like? Sarge could be two people sometimes, sir. Warm one minute, ice the next. How did you feel about him? Overall, I guess he was all right. You could always borrow a ten spot off of him if you needed it. By any chance, did you see Sergeant Waters any time immediately proceeding to his death? I don't know how much before it was, but a couple of us had been over at the NCO club and Sarge had been juicing pretty heavy. Did Waters drink a lot? No more than most. Hey, sir, is it true that when they found the Sergeant, all his stripes and insignia were on his uniform? Well, they didn't mention it in his preliminary reports. Why? If that's the way they found it, then something's wrong, ain't it? No clan boys don't like to see us in these uniforms. Thanks, uh, uh, thanks, Alice. I better start seeing the men. You know what, sir? Can you do anything about allotment checks? Um, uh, I can't do anything directly. Did you speak to the finance officer? Yes, but I I'll I'll talk to Captain Taylor about it. Thanks. Uh, should I send the first man in? Yes, but stay loose. I might need you. You know what, sir? It's good to see one of us wearing them captain bars. Thank you. I interviewed the rest of the men that day, and a few the rest of that week, but most of them already moved away from the incident. I couldn't blame them. During May of 44, the Allies were still making preparations for the invasion of Europe. Invasion. Even the sound of it makes us Negroes think we'll be in it, be swept into waves and equipment. I know I felt like it. And rumor was that I wanted to know if us colored boys could fight. We've been fighting all along these small southern towns. And I cannot arrest a white private without a white officer present. But then I get a case like this, there was no way I wasn't going to see this through to the end.